Yep. It's another wet, horrible day in the UK. So what's to do? I know. Tinker with helicopters. <laughs> right, this one is the 450L Dominant. Not 450, what am I talking about? 550L Dominator. Last time I flew it, it had a little bit of vibration. And I think, well, pretty sure, that it was the main shaft bent. Couldn't see any evidence of that. Put it in a drill, looked okay, looked nice and true. But hey, for the sake of a tenner, got some new ones. So uh, let's get it fitted. Now, for reference, these are 600 heads. So basically, it's a 600 helicopter uh, when you're looking at the L. Uh, just a shorter boom, shorter blades. So the 600 shaft is exactly the same. Uh, don't forget your little thrush washer just there. That needs to go on there like that before you put your shaft in. Now the shaft, that tapered end there, is for the uh, is for the gear on the bottom. So we slide it in. Oops, let's get the camera right. Slide it in there. Again, don't forget your little space the washer. And it drops in like so. Now what I've got to do, I need two hands for this, is to raise it up slightly, put the gear on, and then we need to put the retaining bolt. So these gears are always a bit of a pain in the backside because that inner shaft, the uh, counter rotation uh, bearing, that turns round. So you've got to make sure that everything's lined up before you start. Else you're going to be um, struggling. So there you go, gears in. Hopefully you can see it. There you go. The hole is lined up at the bottom there. Now all I've got to do is put the retaining screw through and the nut and there you go it's in that is captive that nut there um it's only in captive plastic so you may need to give it a little bit of a helping hand but uh, the bottom gear's on now all we need to do put the head back on and that it's pretty simple gonna give it a bit of the good stuff before i put it back on again a little bit of opti oil and a little bit on there as well just to make stuff Whoops, get okay, camera work just to make stuff nice and lubricated. Just check everything's turning all right, and it is. Jobs are good and. Right, so. Literally. <laughs> right, let's try and get the camera angle right. Literally, that, that slides on there, like that, your swash plate. And then your head goes on like that. Obviously, all your connections from your servos go back on. That one there, like that, that one there, that one there. And I'll do those in a second. Auto rotation plate on the back. And first of all, just want to put a bolt through that head. Again, captive nut on the back there, it's still there. And the bolt goes through in there. There you go. All the servos connected back up again. Auto rotation plate is on. Just a little 1.5 screw in there. Oh, getting busy next door, I'm knocking walls down today. Hmm, excellent. And then another one, Ooh, get you round. Another one, just there. This is nice and easy with one hand. There you go, that screws in there and lets your plate back on. And there you go, all back together. Nice and tight, spins around nice and freely. Super tail works as it should just put the blades on and then when it's not raining don't know when that's going to be um maybe a test flight right that's it 550l dominator main shaft replacement cheers all